Welcome, this is Thinking Particle 6, the Analyzer Tool video. In this feature video, we will talk about the Analyzer Tool that was introduced into Thinking Particle 6. But before we do so, let's bring up a Thinking Particle simulation set. As you can see here, it's a pretty decent scene with several dynamic sets, dynamic sets that create particles, dynamic sets that modify and manipulate particles. We have several levels of particles we want to control in here. And we even have in this dynamic set a fluid simulation going on, as well as a surfacer, where we use our latest isosurface operator. Let's have a look what this scene is really doing. So we play back here in the viewport and keep in mind this is a live recording. So the playback you see on your video is a little bit slower because of the real time screen recording. However, we can see that the uh, playback slows down. The question now is, is this slow down expected or not? You would say, okay, we increase particles with every step. The surfacer has to do more and more surface generation. So it is somehow expected that it slows down. However, can you be really sure that this is the reason? and not that you create some stupid wiring setup that creates a million particles and deletes them afterwards. So guessing is not always the good thing when your scenes, especially when thinking particle setups become really complex. For that, we have introduced the analyzer tool. And as you can see here, we press the A button and the analyzer tool pops up. Let's stop the playback and have a look at the analyzer tool. This analyzer tool gives you real time feedback of every single call to every single node in the scene. We did that now for 5.2 seconds and all the times and timings you see there are relative to this time where we recorded the scene. You can sort them by highest number, most time used, most particles created, um, let's just choose which operator creates the most particles in this setup. So we would just uh, go there and right click and show the particle, the most particles created. If we've done this, we will see, okay, we have 35,000 particles created by this trail worn operator. And it took 10.8 megabytes. And that was done with 141,000 colleagues. So everything looks right here in the scene. And we can even see that the implicit shape uh, takes the most time. And this is also expected because it's a time consuming process. So everything in, in here is all fine and uh, looks good. And as we play back the recording, the analyzer tool just continues updating all the parameters, all the setups. Once more, I want to remind you, this is a real-time recording, so the feedback you see here is a little bit slower because of the real-time recording. The analyzer tool also works in real-time in parallel to your thinking particles, so it analyzes in a separate thread all your notes, all your callings, everything that's happening inside of thinking particles. The analyzer tool is a great addition to a thinking particle 6. For the first time, it allows you to analyze your scene in depth and see where the bottlenecks are. Even if you get a scene from your colleague, you are able to easily understand what's going on in that scene. Thank you for watching this video and please check out the other feature videos as well.